Here with Ed Bethia, head coach of men's track and field here at Ohio State. Ed, Ed's been here for seven years now, his first year as head coach. Ed, could you just talk a little bit about your new role as head coach and then introduce us to your new staff? Well, uh, you know, the first thing that, that we had to do was uh, hire a staff, um, which was in the last six years we hadn't uh, had any staff changes short of a couple of volunteer positions. Um, so that was the first thing to do. Next was to make sure that our uh, incoming class of freshmen got settled. Uh, we had a pretty good class coming in this year with a couple of uh, number one, number two guys in the country. Uh, so we wanted to make sure they got off to a good start. But as a uh, head coach, the new role uh, largely has been that, that everything passes through you. And, and, and in the past, Coach Gary had taken care of a lot of those things. So that transition has been pretty smooth. Um, and the department has been very supportive of, of, of us going through that transition. All right, and then could you just tell, talk a little bit about Bryce Allen, your new associate head coach for cross country and distance, and Ross Richardson, your sure. new uh, throws coach? Sure, yeah, I, I knew, I've known Ross since he first got into coaching when he was back out in northern Arizona. Um, we've been friends throughout and I've kind of kept track of his progress and I've tried to mentor him along when he's asked me to. Um, when I became interim, I, I thought that I'd be interested in at least talking to Bryce about uh, the possibility of coming and coaching with me. Um, so once I did get the job, I called him and Bryce with his 10 years of experience, uh, his history of coaching a two-time uh, steeplechase national champion, uh, his numerous uh, All-Americans, I thought would be a great fit uh, for our group of guys uh, and for what the program needs. He's going to uh, be my associate head coach. Uh, he's going to uh, head our distance runners uh, and the efforts that they put forth. So I thought that he would be great, a great fill, and I'm, I'm very fortunate and thankful that he, he said yes to uh, coming aboard. And Ross, uh, uh, when the uh, distance coach distance position opened up, uh, I reached out to uh, to, to see if he'd have any interest in coming in and being our throws coach in that Ross has, has 22 years. He's got more coaching experience than anyone else on the staff. Uh, and fortunately now he makes, he makes me not the oldest person on the staff. Um, but with 22 years of experience, uh, numerous uh, All-Americans uh, and his different experiences, uh, spending five years over at Purdue, uh, he has a, a wealth of knowledge of has an understanding, a very good understanding of our championship season and what we want to get out of that championship season. So I, I think that uh, both those guys uh, are going to be great for our program, great for the university, great for the department. Can you talk a little bit about your current roster and who some student athletes might be, uh, Buckeye fans might want to keep a close eye on this season? Yeah, you know, we've, we've got a number of guys that I, th I think would be great guys to watch. Um, Des Moines Bogle coming back in the hurdles, uh, the short hurdles uh, as a junior, uh, I think it's going to be very good uh, in the indoor 60 hurdles. Uh, he was a national qualifier uh, last year indoor and outdoor. Um, Tim Faust was a finalist in the 60 and in the, or in the 100 meters outdoor and the 200 outdoor last year. Uh, we've got uh, number one uh, it, number one recruit in the country in Donovan Robertson and the hurdles from Berea, Ohio. Um, our 4x4 last year were seventh indoor, uh, NC2A qualifiers outdoor last year. Um, you've got Billy Gehring uh, in the throws, who uh, as a senior this year we're, we're expecting and hoping will do some really great things. Um, you've got Chris Fallon in the distance area. He was a 343, 1500 meter runner last year that we think is really going to have a solid year. Uh, we've got two freshman throwers, uh, Javelin and uh, a hammer thrower, uh, Billy Stanley and Joe Velez. Uh, and the hammer should be really good for us. Champ Page from Maryland uh, should be a really strong freshman 400 meter runner for us. Uh, so I, I think that we've got several guys uh, that our fans should watch. Uh, I think the thing, big thing we're trying to do this year as a program is to really uh, educate our fans on, on ways in which they can follow us uh, through Facebook, through Twitter, so that, that they can stay more connected to the program. So keep an eye on those two avenues and, and uh, I think you could be, you'll be able to follow us you know, pretty well that way. You just talk a little bit about um, expectations or goals for the entire program going forward with you as head coach. Well, you, our, our goal has always been to be a, a top three team at, in the conference. Uh, so we, we want to be a, a certainly a conference contender. Um, we always want to uh, have strong representation uh, regionally. 
Um, and we certainly want to uh, have our team maintain the top 25, ranking at least. Last year we were able to stay in the top 25 throughout the entire year. We'd like to take a step forward and hopefully get into the top 15 uh, if that's possible, which would be a really great goal for us and certainly a challenge with some of the guys that we lost. So we'd like to be top three in the conference. Uh, we'd like to be a, a powerhouse in the region. Uh, we'd like to be, have a strong representation uh, at the national championship. Fifth year senior Mike Hartfield, the triple jumper and long jumper for Ohio State. Uh, Mike, could you just talk a little bit about uh, official practice started this week? Talk a little bit about that and how that's going. Yeah, uh, like you said, we started uh, Monday, first official practice. Uh, it's been going pretty well uh, compared to last year. I know we're trying some different things. We uh, switched up the weight room regiment. We've been doing some circuits and some basic core training, stuff like that, just to get the, a strong base. And then uh, it'll pick up throughout the rest of the, the fall. Yeah, and I know it's a long way till season actually starts, but do you have any uh, outlook on this season, expectations for yourself and as for the team? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, for myself, uh, I'm looking forward just to a healthy season period because last year I was hurt basically the entire year. Uh, as far as the team, I know the goal is always to win Big Tens, you know, and qualify people for nationals and become All-Americans and stuff like that. So. I mean, this uh, fall, you have to take it seriously as far as training and all that stuff to, to reach our goals. Uh, last season, you um, you made the Olympic trials. You placed six at the Olympic trials in the long jump. Can you just talk about that experience and what it meant to you? Uh, it was a really great experience. Uh, it was definitely the biggest meet I've been to. Uh, just a great opportunity all around to try to go out there and compete with some of the nation's best to try to make the Olympic team. It was, it, was, it was really great. It was, it was cool. Do you have any plans after this season, what what you want to do um, following Ohio State? Uh, yeah, to, I mean, I definitely want to end my champion, uh, my senior year uh, three-peat as an outdoor long jump championship, uh, champion. That would be great. Uh, All-American. I actually want to win nationals this year. I have extremely high goals. Uh, then after I'm said and done, I, I look to make the world team, go to USA Championships again out in Oregon and then hopefully get a contract, get on this pro circuit. Um, let's say if you weren't to be a long jumper or a jumper at all, what would be an event that you'd like to try or think you'd be successful at? Uh, maybe 100 meters. 100 meters. 100 meters, yeah, I think I can get out with some of them. I think I have a, a pretty good start, actually. I've got out with some of the guys in practice and smoked a couple of them, but I won't say any names. <laughs> but, you know, I got with them a couple times.